Hey, God bless everybody. I pray that all is well in the name of Jesus. I pray that everybody's doing amazing. I pray that everybody's having an amazing day. And may the God of peace, and may the God of love, and may the God of restoration, and may the redemptive love of his glory flow through your life exceedingly abundantly above all you can even imagine in or think. One of the things I want to talk about today, brothers and sisters, is this. And please hear my heart. Please hear my heart. There's times when the Spirit of the Lord will show me things and reveal things to me. And there's times where you can even sense it in the atmosphere. One, we understand and we know that we are under a spiritual warfare, the body of Christ. And many of you can bear witness to this reality and truth. There is a there is a a intense spiritual warfare reality that is coming against and amongst the body of Christ. Whether people want to admit it, whether they want to just shrug it off, but the reality of the truth is this, there is a war. There is a war spiritually and there is a war physically. Everything that happens will manifest and come to be in the realm of the spirit first then manifest in the natural of what is behind the scenes. So anytime we will begin to see things come to the surface, there was a spiritual reality at play that manifested to the reality that we see manifest in the natural. We are coming into a day and moment and hour. And please hear me. The body of Christ, Ecclesia, saints of God, the beloved of the Lord. It's time that you get your houses in order. Make peace. Reconcile. Heal. Strengthen. Cover. Pray for your families, your churches, your homes. There's another lockdown and there's a storm coming. Hear me, hear me, brothers and sisters. There is gonna come another lockdown. There is gonna come another, and I know we don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna face the reality. Now there will, there will be more resistance this time around but there's also, gonna, there's also going to be more pressure that is going to come to the body and come to the people upon the land stronger than before. Get your houses in order. Prepare you the way of the Lord. And I know when things are going well, we're not praying like we should. We're taking things for granted. And we're just kind of going through the motions of the mundane status quo Christianity, thinking that everything has gotten back to normal. But no, the Lord Jesus is still trying to get the attention of the ecclesia right back to where he wants it, wants his church to be and wanted it to be all along. And that is preaching the kingdom, not our own messages, not our own titles, not our own series, not self-help, motivation, none of that, y'all. We don't got time for that, brothers and sisters. The gospel of the kingdom must be preached. Repent for the kingdom of heaven, of God, is at hand. As I said before and many times before, churches and ministers you're going to need the faith preachers. You're going to need those that are flowing in the miracle signs and wonders. You're going to need them. So you might as well make peace with them and ask them for forgiveness for the things of which you said concerning and even speaking negative against the body of Christ, creating divisiveness and also to arguments and strife amongst the brethren. Now is not the time to be, be to be divisive. Now is the time to unite the fight, the good fight 
of faith and to stop bickering and fighting amongst the brethren and join together as the body of Christ unites for the glory of God in Christ Jesus. It's time that we begin to preach Christ crucified once and for all. I understand self-help. I understand motivation. I understand psychology method, methods and ideologies. I understand it works. It works. I understand that. And it gets a lot of likes because it gets it gets our it gets the people, not me. It gets the people's attentiveness and their focus off of the issue in a self-help motivational type of way. But that is not the that is not the Christianity lifestyle of what Christ came to this earth to bring. He said to deny yourself. Did say to become a better you. He said to deny yourself. He said to pick up your cross and follow him. You have no idea where you're going. You have no idea what's going to come. You have no idea where it is that the Lord Jesus is going to take you to. This is not about becoming a better you and getting every blessing, every pie in the sky type of message. This is about getting your heart and your life right with Jesus Christ. He's coming. And before he comes, I even spoke this back in 20, 2018, 2019, and I said time and time again, there was a shaking that was coming before the whole situation arose. Even before it hit, I was calling it then, and I'm calling it now. You can call me crazy if you want to, but I promise you, in the name of Jesus, it's time that we preach Christ, Christ crucified. Get your houses in order. Ask those that you need forgiveness. Ask those to forgive you. <laughs> make right relationships and make right and make peace. Even with enemies that you can make peace with. They're not your enemies if they're, if they're not your enemies if they belong to the body of Christ. You know, first and foremost, let's fix that and let's make that corrected. If they are a brother or sister in Christ Jesus, you have no right to call them an enemy. And they are not the ones that you are preparing a table in the presence of the enemy, uh, of your enemy. That they're not the ones. If they are a part of the body of Christ, they are a brother. They are a sister. So get that, get that out of your heart and out of your mind calling somebody that belongs to the body an enemy. I understand there may have been differences. There may have been some feuding and falling out and, 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 and maybe some dissension and maybe some separation and maybe some uh, uh, falling away and maybe the, uh, uh, you know, and it even it really is even sad even even you know church hurt and church splits and church splits shouldn't happen amongst brethren there should be a growing out together to bring Jesus Christ glory so brothers and sisters please hear my heart i'm not trying to put fear in your heart But would you, better, would you better make yourself and be ready for what is the coming with a word? Or you can take my word and say, oh, this brother's crazy. There he goes again. He's tripping. This brother's tripping. He thinks, he thinks he's a prophet. No, I'm a son. And I know something's coming upon the land. I know something is coming, brothers and sisters. And it's not because of things in, in the natural of what it is that I see. I know what I sense by the Spirit. And it's the same feeling that I felt in 2019. And I was calling it in the summer of 2019. Even then I was saying there's a shaking that is coming. I had no idea what it was going to be, but I knew there was a shaking that was coming and it was going to grab the hearts and the attentiveness of the church to get them right back to first love from which many have fallen. It's time that we were, it's time that we return back to first love.